I never knew this house is gonna come out like this. I feel so emotional right now. If I continue talking, probably I will cry. Because I can't believe that I did this, man. It's almost done. By December 22nd, it will be out for sale. And I know and believe that the first person who will buy this house will be a blessing to my real estate career. Believe me or not, this hasn't been easy. I, it took a lot, but uh, it's a new journey that I'm on, and I have to invest in it. I know wherever my dad is, he would definitely be so proud of me, man. You know why? Because I'm building this to honor him and my mom. So if you don't know the name of this estate, it will be called the Charlie Mark. You know why Charlie Mark? Because my mom used to call my dad Charlie, and my dad used to call my mom Mag. So I decided to combine the two names together to honor them, to, know, to let them know that I'm so grateful for them bringing me to this world, and I want to pay them back with this. So their name and legacy will forever live on till that kingdom come. You know, happy for me. Like, wow. I always say if you get the right people around you, they speed up your dreams. If you get the right people around you, they show you what to invest your money into. When you get the right people around you, they direct your path, you know. I always say that talk to the elderly people around you, learn from them so that you don't make the same mistake that they made. So that's basically what I did. And here is the result. And I believe that this is just the beginning. So yeah, if you really want to buy this, I told them to reduce the price. So yeah, just reach out. I want you to be the first person to buy this, if you are listening to me, yeah? But I'm not here because of the house. I personally wanted to rest. I took a break on off YouTube, but I'll still be uploading. Meaning I won't be doing extreme stuff. I'm just gonna do personal stuff from today till to, to the 1st of December. Um, probably gonna try and bring you videos every day, but those videos are videos that I shot already. And some of them, yeah, probably a bit of surprises in there. And uh, I think, We'll also launch this before the year ends. So what's happening right now is like, uh, we're, doing the, we're doing the filling at the moment. So you see this place? This is where we're gonna, uh, the pavement. So they're gonna pave it, the whole place. So next time you see this video, the whole place will be paved. But for now, it's just the filling. Uh, process you have to fill the whole place wait it for it to dry up before they start the uh, pavement blocks i really think my developer really utilized the space and the way ghana is hot i think we deserve a mini pool in here you guys don't think so i was actually talking about this yesterday man this space because probably you might think that you you have to park cars in here but you got an, another space right here, which I think this space can be used to park cars. So this whole area, you can use to park at least one, two, three, four cars in here. And then you have a mini pool because Ghana is extremely hot, man. You cannot live in a house without a swimming pool. That's what I think. What do you guys also think? Do you think we should get a swimming pool in here? Even though this place is gonna be paved, I'm a big fan of greens, man. When I came here yesterday, I was like, dude, you need to start planting trees, man, because you can't be living in a concrete jungle. So he said, okay, we'll start planting trees. I mean, not trees in general, but a bit of flowers in here. And outside this space, that's where they're gonna start planting trees. So 
uh, I was actually waiting for them to finish all the work outside and I will personally come and plant trees man because we need to take care of nature so that nature will take care of us man but when I see this knowing that my baby is 97% done this is like my first child man and I feel like God is with me man and I can't wait to see the first person living in this house Will you want to be that first person? Can you call me? The number is on the screen. Call me and tell me that Maya, I want to buy it. Even if you buy it and give it to me back, I will appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>
sand. I mean, you can send it to any of the uh, laboratories for test, and you, they will tell you that yes, we've done a, a good Great. job. No, I mean, you can see most of the building around. They have cracks and all sorts of things in it, but you yourself, you can yeah. bear me out. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This, is, this is actually a great yeah. job. Yeah. Thank you very much. We are, we, are, we are also very grateful. We are most grateful to you, for, I mean, for giving us this big opportunity. I mean, it's a plus and we are most grateful. So I, I was literally filming my video in here and then she came and asked me if I need a cleaner to clean the house, right? So which means you have a company that cleans. Yeah. So it's your own business that you set it up? Yes, it is. So um, I'm Caroline Mouse Agbenyenu, CEO of Carol the Maclear Conglomerate. Um, Carol the Maclear Cleaning Services is one of the subsidiaries. It's two foot uh, is by which I have met this fine gentleman here today. So um, I provide professional cleaning services and um, general supply of whatever goods products that you need um, for your houses, offices, any kind of cleaning, post construction, office cleaning, anything. Any kind of cleaning, sorry, you need, you can contact me. I've got the machinery, I've got the expertise, knowledge, I've got the right chemicals, I've got everything you would need for me to do a very good job for you. What made you start a business like that? I am an entrepreneur. I'm a very driven entrepreneur. I like to do things on my own. Yes, yeah, so... Um, and I'm a very strong believer in Christ. So whatever I do in life, I ask God to direct me, to show me which way to go. And so um, cleaning business is one of the, the paths God is leading me on. So, because I believe that ideas, my ideas are inspired to me by God. So I had the idea from God to set up a cleaning company. And here I am. So you have... Um You've employed people? Yes, I have permanent workers, I have temporal, I'll say con workers on contract, because um, it's not easy to, you know, own a small, or to start up a business, most especially here, because okay. it's all about your connections. It's all about your Ooh, connections, no. exactly. You see me out here, if I had connections, I'm sure someone would have passed your number to me that will call this person. And, you know, he's got a project here, but um, I don't have that for now. And so what I do is I go around from place to place where I see there is a prospective business out for me. And um, I approach whoever I find, whether it's the carpenter, the painter, the contractor, whoever it is. I speak with them, then they direct me to, of course, the head of or the line of chain or something. Yeah, that's how it is. You know, one of the things that I always talk about is like the fact that there are a lot of jobs that the youth of the country can create, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, we don't respect certain kind of jobs, mm -hmm. you know, and that is why I respect you a lot, the fact that you even came up with all so cleaning business. Thank you. I feel like you sound like somebody who just came out of the university, I mean, or somebody who has graduated from the university. Yes, I have. I am a graduate from Central University. Wow. Yes. What program were you studying in school? I have two degrees. So I read journalism and media law. Um, after that, I realized that I didn't want to. I am not the kind of person who likes to be quelled in one place. I realized that my, I love to be on the field. And so journalism, yes, you go out there. Um, I wanted to go into investigative journalism. So I realized I had to read something else. And so I read management studies where I did financial management, leadership studies, international business environment, corporate business, HR, leadership studies, all of that in my um, degree. So I did that, and um, so that is my second degree, management studies. All yeah. in Central University? All in Central University. And whilst I was doing this, I was working. Yeah, whilst I was schooling, I was working. And I want to say this, um, I took myself to school. Hmm? Yeah. I took myself to school. 
Does it mean they don't have a family? I do have a family. Um, my family was well to do. We lived in an estate and all of that. And what happened? And things, you know, life happened, things changed. Um, and by then I was in secondary school, so it meant that I had to take life in my own hands when I came out of secondary school. So when I came out of secondary school, I, I started selling fruits to, I took it to the hospital. There was a hospital close to where I was, so I took it to the hospital because I knew that they needed fruits <laughs> to gain good health, yeah. So I've always been a business entrepreneur, so I, I had this nines packaging and all of that. Wow. I, was, I went there only to sell to patients, but I actually ended up having the doctors and the uh, physician assistants ask my clients and the patients rather than barely even purchase. <laughs> yeah, so that is how I was able to pay my admission and my hostel fees into my first year, wow. level 100. So this is, this, I added this just to let you out there know that life, we don't, we don't have control over things that can happen to us, but we have control to effect change to the things that end up happening. And I effected the change. And I must say that amongst us all, my elder siblings had the opportunity of going to, you know, the university. My brother went to Oxford and all that. But by God's grace, I turned out to be the most, you know. I got here with a bike, a bicycle. With a bike? Yeah. What do you mean? You came here with a bicycle? Yep. Where's the bike? It's over there to your left. There is a, a steep, I would say a steep guard how, tower how bridge. Like, like you're, you're more like a hustler, eh? <laughs> I, just, I just love your hustle, man. You gotta hustle, man. You gotta hustle. A, a, a university graduate with two degrees? Well, you know, you didn't apply for jobs after school. I did have a job and, and I quit. You quit? Yeah. I think I need to do a story on Carolina. Just, yeah. just a main video about Carolina. <laughs> I'm going to make it happen. Okay. No, you, you guys need to support her business, man. Like... Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. You're still feeling, eh? Yes. From, from behind? Oh. This is where manpower can't see. Because the Carolina cannot cross this with a bike. Can I, you? I can. No, come on. You can't. Come so, on. So, so why didn't you bring the bike then? Because I see another building over there. And you want to go there too? I want to go there. And the route to get there is behind us. Or let me say it's in front of us. So why would I cross this steep gutter with my bicycle just to come here and cross back? So you move around with your bike chasing clients? Uh, yeah, sometimes. You see, I, I'm, I'm just shocked, you know, the fact that we have a lot of youth in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And uh, jobs like cleaning. Yep. We believe that it's not for us. That is true. People didn't laugh at you when you chose this? Um... No, I, I haven't had people laugh at me. Yeah. I've rather had people in, encourage me to go forward at it. Wow. And I would say so because most of the people in my life are all people ahead of me. Okay. I don't yeah. have, uh, I don't have age, age mates, yeah. friends. Yeah, right. yeah, the only ones I have are my colleagues in, from uni. And yeah, we only talk on a you know high high basis, and maybe to hang out you know a few times, but not business related. So I haven't had no, I haven't had people mock or tease at me with that. But there are times where I get a contract. Like I said, the business is is not. It's we we still getting there. Okay. So if you don't have. Um, a daily contract that lasts you the entire year it means that it's contract based say three months or one month sometimes in three four months you don't even have a contract so how do you then pay your workers 
So I have temporal and permanent workers. So the permanent ones are just a few. Mm. And then of course, if I have say a huge contract and then I get temporal workers on board. So there are times where I want to get labor and then we go out there to, um, how do you call these shelters? These shelter places and of course I know I know where I've come from and I know how I want to impact and so I don't go for the people who already have jobs or people I know that you know they are well to do. Okay. I go for people who even go to get jobs and they don't even get the jobs. They're the kind of people I go to and you, you'll be amazed to know that these people are very reluctant to do a job like cleaning most especially the guys are like cleaning and they're like nah me mean to me you're cleaning that is what they say to you mean to me you're cleaning meanwhile they don't know the person asking them to go clean is hello is even a graduate and these are people who barely have any kind of education and they're so pompous and egoistic to go do a job like cleaning yeah wow all i can say all the best. And, Thank you. Uh, you guys should reach out to Carolina. And yeah. Do reach out to me. All the estate companies in Accra, Takra Day. I am not limited to Accra. So if you're in Kumasi, Volta region, wherever you are. In fact, see, I'm trusting God to for my business, my company to go beyond the borders of Africa and Ghana. So see, if you're watching this video and you're in Kenya, you're in Morocco, you're in South Africa, you just reach out to me, okay? And let's do business. Let's set this name high. <laughs> Your message to the youth of Africa or the youth of Ghana in general. But I would like to give it to the youth and also to those who have who hold the power to push people like us up there i'm very passionate about this because i sometimes go to places and i'm like oh i'm this i'm caroline i do that i want to provide the service and like, oh i'm sorry we already have someone and i'm like okay so is there a room to tender in of course probably to bid by price and everything like oh no i'm sorry we already got someone some of us you know we come up with business ideas I, I pay people. I have, I have workers that I pay. And so I'm helping in the labor sector. Now, the, the country wants us to pioneer into individuals holding businesses. Yet it's so difficult out here. If you don't have the connection, of course, the favor of God is going to take me wherever I need to go to. But of course, God blesses you. God blesses man through man. Exactly. It's going to take you. It's going to take this channel. It's going to take someone or something to catapult me somewhere great. And so, yes, we need people to push us out there. So if I come to your office, whether I am a month old or I'm a year old in the industry, try me. Have a look at jobs I have done. Give me a shot. Don't shut the door at me and say, oh, I'm one month year old or I'm a year old. And so I don't qualify to do the job. And this is to inspire and encourage and motivate everyone out there like me no matter how many doors are slammed at your face go out there and get what it is you know you want whatever decision you make today affects your tomorrow whatever decision you make today affects your tomorrow don't settle for less the salaries we get from our workplaces yes they do us good but they, they can't take us far Okay, there is a lot and lot and lot to achieve in life. The houses, the cars, the luxury life, the good life, living in good health, traveling here and there. We all can experience it and we can experience it with hard work and with determination. You might have the idea, but you need to step out there like I am out here. Okay, don't just keep it in here. Move out. Just go out there and do your best. That is what I want to say to myself. Thank you. That girl is a real hustler, man. And believe me, she's so pretty. I mean, she could have been like, oh, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit there, wait for a man to come and marry me. But no, she pulled all that aside to work hard, to make a living, to take care of friends and family, and even herself. Listen, we all should, I mean, if you need a cleaner, the number will be in the description. Call her, go support her business. I will be the first person to support her business, man. I was not expecting to meet this lady right here, 
but I feel like I should just end this video in here so that I will give her the chance for people to get to know her business, right? So I'm going to bring you the next episode tomorrow, right? So all you need to do is to first of all like this video, share this video so that others can have a piece of it. And don't forget to subscribe and be part of this awesome channel. Let me know the kind of question you want me to answer in the comment section and I will add it to the video that I'll be doing tomorrow. My name is Mr. Ghana, baby. You're one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. I am Maya. Peace out.